Jaya hey ha! The topic for this video today is how women confuse the shit out of men. Why do they do that? Guys out there, listen to this and women understand also why guys sometimes get a little bit lost in the labyrinths of your emotions and your minds and your life. So, yeah, why do women confuse men? How does that work? Well, it's very simple. Women change their minds. They evolve, their feelings evolve, their thoughts evolve, their emotions are changing. And guys, if you are out there and you are trying to put women within a square, within a limited frame that says, this is who you are, this is how you are all the time, you are going to hit very uh, limiting emotions and limiting mindsets because a woman will, doesn't want to be put within a box, within a limited box. A woman is free, she expands beyond that, and her emotions change, her feelings change. The fact that she tells you one day that she will love you forever, and then the following day that she wants a divorce, uh, that's part of life. And the reason why it's like that, it's because everything that is happening on the thoughts, emotional level, or feeling level, is within the realms of the impermanent. These things change, they evolve. And so we as guys, we tend to want, uh, you know, a certain form of energetic or emotional security. We say, well, here is the emotion that I expect and this emotion will be permanent and continuous for the rest of my life or at least a day or at least a few hours. No, it's not like that. It doesn't work like that. A woman will have a mood uh, one minute and then a different mood the following minute and it will evolve, it will change. You know, what I'm talking about here, it can be applied to men as well. It's not so gender specific. But this is the kind of things that men tend to be exposed to a little bit more than, than women. That's my feeling. And um, if you are a guy and you notice that you are getting really confused with that because your girlfriend, wife or partner or somebody in your, in your life is changing her mind all the time, then there is only one thing that you can do. It is emotional or energetic flexibility. You need to learn to adapt and play with that or, you know, sometimes influencing a little bit, but trying to bring her back to what she said yesterday and you want her to stick to what she said yesterday and stick to that for the rest of her life, that's usually not going to work because you are going to be limiting her natural flow and her natural truth at that moment. So this idea of energetic or emotional flexibility is very important for guys. We need to be able to adapt and move to what's alive and real at that moment rather than trying to stick to something which is fixed. And uh, I would say that this is a quality that uh, we can play with, we can develop, we can adapt to. And one of the, the core reactions that you can have is stop trying to control what she thinks or how she feels. Stop trying to bring her back. You say, but you said yesterday that you wanted to go to the beach and now you want to take off on another trip to the mountains. What's wrong with you, okay? This, is, this would be the reaction of not being able to adapt. When you say, oh, well, it looks like you changed your mind. That's great, that's, that's fine, that's okay. Let's, let's go in another direction. And then one minute later, the, mind, the, the, the feeling or the mind changes again and you have to adapt again. And this is fine, this is great, this is the way it works. And uh, for, for a man, what this means it is that to stay centered, to be able to hold a certain space within your own life and make your own choices, what this means is that instead of trying to rely on her to give you your truth, you have to tune inside of you and find out what your truth and your alignment really is. You know, she might say, well, I changed my mind. You can say, well, I didn't. I'm still feeling the same as yesterday. This is my truth. It doesn't mean that your truth is the same as mine, but it means that I have a certain um, connection with myself where I personally know what I want. I know who I am. I want. I know what my intentions are. So this is the idea. The first thing is for guys who are out there, uh, it's to be able to adapt emotional flexibility. Another one is to find out your internal truth and your internal uh, values that you can you know, embody and stick to. Another thing uh, to understand it is that women can give you conflicting interests or conflicting ideas. You know, it means that she will tell you that she wants something and then the following day tell you that she wants the exact opposite. Or she tells you she wants something from you, you do that, 
you deliver what she said she wanted and then she tells you that she's unhappy with what you gave her and the reason why it's like that it's because there are conflicting interests in her mind there is there there are conflicting instructions and uh, again in that case it's it's uh, energetic emotional flexibility and again finding out from within what feels right and what feels in resonance from for you for instance if she tells you here is what I would like us to do together, and you know that internally that's not something that resonates with you, then stick to what feels true to you. Okay, this is the idea. Energetic emotional flexibility. Women out there, if you're listening to this, just enjoy being flexible and let men just play with your emotions and energies. I feel that, uh, that it's very important. If you can offer a little bit more, more continuity sometimes, that that can help as well but basically all that is the play of life and it's beautiful to dance together in the spontaneity of the moment and in the truth of the moment i love you i see you soon bye bye